gets to put a fan TV I'm outside the Riverside Stadium we beat Ipswich 2-0 I have Christopher and me Christopher a lot better tonight yeah it was better than Wednesday so Middlesbrough were better at the end of the day but Ipswich defence was dreadful but Bowles defence was amazing so but how we got that penalty was amazing so epic for them to win tonight and it's moved up I hope we move up to the table that penalty took a lot of pressure off Pulis yeah, it has. It looked like I could see it in his face. Literally, he was gobsmacked. But yeah. the, the, the linesmen weren't, ba- they weren't too good, but they were awful. But the referee was bad, proper bad, with his decisions at the end of the day. And Tav getting a goal for us. Finally! <laughs> amazing goal that was. I had to make sure it was a goal. Yeah. It was an amazing goal, mate. Honest to God, love it. Chris, thanks for coming on Butterfan TV. Well done, Guess the Butterfan TV, I'm outside the Riverside. We beat Ipswich 2 0. I have Jordan with me. Jordan, does that send you home happy or is it just to plaster over our problems? Yeah, I think I'll go home happy, but I think Pulis needs to make some good signings. I think he needs to strengthen the team up. And I think we need to say goodbye to Brits on Belonga. And I think we need to bring a stronger striker in. Who stood out for you today in a put of shirt? Tav- Tavernier and uh, Hugel. Yeah. And I think we need to play L- Lewis some more. We need to start Lewis more. Yeah, yeah. And Tav, when he come on, he impressed again when he come on. Yeah, he impressed me. I think he played really well. I think he he was fitting in the team more and more. And, and I think we'll be more stronger if we make some more good signings. Jordan, thanks for coming on Butterfan TV. Dolph, are we? Are we? Not me again. Guess the Butterfan TV, I'm outside the Riverside. We beat Ipswich 2 0. I have Tom with me. Tom. Well, Are you happy, mate? Well, uh, from the play we've been playing recently, it hasn't been very good form, and we can all agree with that. We've come out with two goals today, which takes us a point up, you know, well, uh, two points up, you know. And as long as we're in the top six at the end of the season, I'm going to be happy with that, and I suppose all the fans are as well. Premier League, maybe next season. Tom, thanks for coming on, Borough Fan thanks, TV. Man. Well done, son. Guess the Butterfan TV, I'm outside the Riverside, we beat Ipswich 2-0. I have Will with me. Will, a lot better than, when was it, Wednesday? A lot better. One way to describe this na- uh, game is Tavernier, you know what I mean? He's absolute class. He's a, he's a wonder kid, mate, he's absolute class. He's like Karate Kid, you know, he just comes to the rescue all the time, you know what I mean, Guess the. But when you're down in the dumps and you need someone to pick you up, he's like Karate Kid, he comes on and he gives you that bit of energy. Did, did wing in pressure from starting today or do you still think we should be seeing him more off the bench than starting? No, he, he did good. One player who let us out today, Mo Besic, I thought he played crap. And uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Johnny Alston, absolute class, played out of position today, played in a new position and he suited it, I thought. I think give him a few more games right wing back and he'll get the use of it. And Dale playing right back with Alston in front of him, do you think that worked better than McNair? Yeah, definitely. Uh, played, uh, I mean, worked out a lot better, but one thing we've got to worry about now is uh, Daniel Ayala. Hopefully it's not too serious the injury he's picked up. And it looked like Flynn picked up a little niggle at the end of the game as well. And if them two are out, it's going to be big misses against Derby. Don't you think Bass and Dale could cope at centre-halves at Derby? They could, but yeah, when you're missing Flint and Ayala, it's going to be a big loss, isn't it? Uh, and also, I still, I still think Pulis out, but... It, it, it's a win at home, Will. You know what I mean? It's a win at home, it's a clean sheet, and we've won 2 0. So I've stood here and it's been very quiet as the fans have walked past. We're still deflated, aren't we? It hasn't lifted the mood any. Not really. It's still like one win out of eight or something like that at home. And it's it still need a pick up, but hopefully we, we can start getting a few players in January and it can pick up from there. Will, thanks for coming on Butterfan TV.